Hey everyone, so in today's video I am talking about the one, the only Sephora Savings event. Actually, it's not the only one, there is two a year. But the spring event is almost upon us, so I wanted to share with you all what is in my cart, what is in my wish list. A lot of these items are newer releases that I'm interested in. There are also kind of like restocks of some products, which is kind of a little bit of a sneak peek into what is going to be in my recommendations video. That video is coming, so make sure that you're subscribed. But I definitely am mentioning some holy grails in today's video. I'll leave everything on my face down below as well because there are also a lot of previews of items I'm going to be recommending on my face right now. Let's just jump right out of the gate. The Bosma Cream Blush, and in specific, I would really like the shade Cherry. Hold on a second, I need to move my camera around. So I really enjoy the Bosma Cream Blush formula. It is one of those very middle of the road formulas. It's more of a satin feel, blends really seamlessly, and it's not overly dewy. I find it also lasts really well. So when I find a formula that I particularly enjoy, typically I'll go back and make sure that I'm picking the best shade that I actually see myself using the most. And it turns out that they also have a cherry red shade. I absolutely love the Dior Rosy Glow Blush in the shade Cherry. That will be in my Sephora recommendations video. I would say at least half of 2023, that is the blush that I was wearing on my cheeks. It just adds this really pretty kind of sunburnt effect that I find to be very youthful and pretty. And by the way, a lot of my recommendations as well as like my wish list are a little bit more spring and summer focused. So just so you guys know. I also have a red blush video coming for you all. I really love red blush and I think that it can be really intimidating for some people. So I would like to purchase this during the savings event just so I potentially could have this for that video. I wanna have a few different reds with different undertones. So yeah, this is the first item that is in my cart. Next, we have the Sephora Favorites Vacation Perfume Discovery Set. This is definitely going to be an item that's probably going to sell out. I don't think all of the Sephora Favorites sets are worth the money. However, for this one for 30 bucks, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You get eight <laughs> different, more summery fragrances to sample. And then you also can come back with the coupon that they give you and get a travel size roller ball of whichever one you liked the most. I really like this idea, especially for really summery fragrances because we're really traveling a lot, typically, not all of us, but typically I feel like that's when the most people are traveling. So to be able to have a travel size of a fragrance for the summer that you really like for 30 bucks and you feel really confident about it because you've tried out a bunch. I really enjoy that about this particular set from Sephora. Now I have a few that I'm really interested in trying in specific. Beach Walk from Mason Margiela. It's just kind of like a classic and I've smelt it before but never on me so I would be really interested in seeing how it smells on me. Nette Coco, Fleur de Parfum. I've never heard of this fragrance but I love coconut so also Skylar has their coconut cove in here which I already have and I really enjoy so ultimately this set does make me excited definitely let me know if you guys want me to do a follow-up video on like the Sephora sets that look good or the Sephora sets that I think aren't worth it next we have the Kaja dewy bar blush and lip balm this blush looks really really pretty I've actually been checking out some of the demos that Kaja has come out with for this blush and they look so, so pretty. It's definitely like a kind of multi-balm, very dewy product. In this kind of peachy shade, I imagine it being really pretty for more no makeup makeup looks in the summer. Just that kind of sheer jelly cheek look that I find to be really pretty. In specific, I would like the shade uh, Peach Cobbler. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Next, I have Dewy Plump Collagen Lip Gel from Give. So this looks interesting to me. I really am curious about it because they're calling it a lip gel. 
I wish that more brands started to use the word gel <laughs> to describe their lip products because there are a lot of more balmy products that actually have a little bit of like a gel kind of feel in a really pleasant way. For example, like the Road lip balms definitely have a little bit of a gel cream texture to them. But yeah, so they're calling it a collagen supporting non-sticky tinted lip gel. The shades are very juicy, perfect for spring and summer. Like these shades are screaming uh, summer to me, especially. And they just look like they kind of have that water droplet effect on the lips that I really, really enjoy. They also have coordinating colors of another new launch, also by Give, which are these cheek tints. They're called the Dewy Plump Collagen Boosting Cheek Tints. I like that they mentioned that they're supposed to last all day. And also they have these ultra filling spheres, which smooth and hydrate the skin. So I'm imagining it to be some sort of silicone product. I think it would be nice if this was both a dewy plump cheek tint that also had a smoothing effect. I know that it's possible. I found it in formulas. I don't think that you have to pick between dewy and smoothing. You just have to find really excellent formulas. I'm hoping that this is that excellent formula. I will say I like the shade Marigolds in both the cheek and the lip, but I'm wondering if I should switch it up. So, you know, that to me is, I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet, but we'll, we'll have to see. The next item that I'm probably going to pick up is another shade of the Makeup Forever HD Skin Hydro Glow. Now, this foundation it is what is on my skin today. However, I have the shade 100 and 00. It is like one of their lightest shades and it looks pretty clearly too light on me. For the summer, I think that this is such a standout, great foundation because it's dewy, but it doesn't feel like a lot of makeup on the skin once it goes on and applies. And it also lasts really long. So I have gotten comments before and questions about long wear makeup that is also dewy. If you are looking for long wear makeup that is also dewy, I think that this is a really good place to start. So I'll leave a link to it down below. But all of that is to say is that I'm probably going to pick up another one of these because this shade is just not, it, it's way too light for me, especially going into the summer. Who knows, maybe I'll pick up um, a self tan shade. Two more restock items that I know I will be picking up. The Tower 28 Serum Concealer. I have mine in the shade CC. 100% will be picking up one of these. You know, out of so many concealers on the market, I know it can feel kind of like overwhelming. If there's one concealer launch that I could recommend to you all within the last year, it is this concealer. It's one of the best I've ever used in my life. I have tried so many and nine times out of 10, I don't like it. This is thin on the skin. It is not drying. It lasts well. A little bit goes a long way. It's very spreadable, but it's not a heavy duty product that feels like a lot of makeup. If you have hollowness under your eyes, this does such a beautiful job of depuffing, and that hollow doesn't feel as exaggerated, and a lot of concealers do that for me. I couldn't recommend it enough. This is a restock that is definitely going to happen. And on that note, <laughs> another holy grail item that I also will be picking up and restocking is the Tower 28 Make Waves Mascara. Again, nine times out of 10, I'm wearing this mascara. If I'm on camera, there's a good chance I'm probably wearing this. And I have found that out of all the mascaras on my channel that I've put on my lashes, I get the most comments and questions about this one because it does such an incredible job of lifting and opening up the eyes. And I like that you can really take it to a natural um, place, but you can also really amp it up and get something more dramatic. So I really couldn't be happier uh, with this mascara, which is why, again, you know, I don't only buy new items in this Sephora Savings event. I buy restocks and items that I use day to day. Like, you know, the Everyday Makeup Bag, these are 100% in them, almost in, in almost every case. But back to some newer launches. This is one, so 
Here's one that I'm not sure about. There are two items that are very similar that I'm looking at. So Glow Recipe recently came out with their Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Hue Drops, the Sun Glow Glow Serum. I really enjoy the Watermelon Dew Drops. I think it's like, it's such a good hydrating primer kind of item for under makeup and it kind of leaves a bit of a tacky finish. So your makeup likes to stick to it. And I find that you know, during the summer especially, if you want to hydrate your skin, but you don't want a primer that's really, really dewy and emollient, you know, that product I think is good for that. I can imagine that being such a beautiful texture for an item like this that you want to kind of like match self-tan to the face, which, you know, I don't typically self-tan my face. I know I'm not alone in that. Because this is so thin, it also looks like something that would apply really beautifully in layers as well. You know how some like glowy drops, like they kind of, if they're too creamy, it can almost feel like you're putting on a foundation. But if it has this really nice gel consistency, that to me, like that sounds really appealing. The more I talk about it, the more I'm like, I feel like there's a good chance that I'm just going to pick up those from Glow Recipe. However, that being said, um, Isle of Paradise also has their Sunny Serum, their Instant Face Bronzer. This looks way closer to the kind of formula that I was talking about before, kind of like a more liquidy serum kind of product. But taking a look at the ingredients, there's water, hydrogenated, isobutene, glycerin, niacinamide. Does seem to be, again, more of like a serum kind of gel texture, not necessarily like a thick moisturizer. Like those ingredients don't read that to me. So I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to see. The Isle of Paradise is like about $10 less than the Glow Recipe. So they do have that going for them. Here's an item that I'm really interested in. And I just have a feeling like it could be just like an absolute flop. I feel like I need to know, and also I feel like you guys might need to know, and I also feel like this could very easily be a product that gets very hyped up without really being much of anything. So I kind of like to try those products that I'm a little bit skeptical of. I'd like to pick up the Armani Beauty Prisma Glass Hydrating Lip Gloss with Squalane. Specifically, the Cherry Glaze looks very, very pretty. Again, you guys know I like a cherry shade. They just look very pretty. And I also wonder if they are like pH adjusting at all, like the Dior lip oils. I don't know why I'm getting that vibe, but we'll just have to see on that. They're not mentioning it at all. So stay tuned. Um, make sure you're subscribed if you're interested in that. So next item, the Saint Tropez Self Tan Supreme Violet Mousse. Now, this in specific, this mousse from Saint Tropez is supposed to give you a little bit more of like an olive toned tan, which I have found looks really good on me. I do like a little bit more of an olive tan whenever I do self tan and I'd like to try out a new one. So this one is in the cart because the color looks really, really beautiful. And it also looks to be quite dark, which you would think, you know, being that I'm a fair person, you would think I wouldn't want to go for something very dark, but I often find that I'm someone that puts on a self tan and doesn't want to keep self tanning over and over and over. So even if the first day it's a little too dark, I like to go with a tan that ultimately is less maintenance overall. I'm a low maintenance self tan kind of person. I am very interested in picking up the LYS Higher Standard Cream Glow Blush Stick. I actually uh, swatched one of them in person and that, sorry, I'm pulling it up on my laptop. That is why I am planning on picking one up. So I actually swatched in person the shade um, Bubbly and I was like, this shade is very, very pretty. And this kind of pink is not something that I would usually pick out. That being said, there is a warm cinnamon shade that looks so beautiful for the summer. I would say if you want to go something more spring focused, bubbly, like the soft pink would be really pretty. But what I found interesting about the formula is that it goes down and dries down. The finish is more luminous because it does have these pearls in it. And oddly enough on my hand, it didn't look like the pearls themselves didn't look to be 
um, exaggerating texture. So, so again, this could potentially be another one of those summer makeup items I can rec recommend to you all that is dewy, like has a luminous finish to it, but is also long wearing. So again, I'm always uh, keeping these things in mind when I'm picking out items, things that I could potentially try for you guys. You know, I want to make your life easier. Speaking of new blushes, the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Luminous Powder Blush. I am incredibly skeptical about this new launch, and I, I hate to say that, and I'm not saying that to be a hater whatsoever. Like, I, I truly am not. Just for me, I need this to still give a luminous but blurred finish. And not all brands can do that. So if Rare Beauty is able to accomplish that, especially in this kind of formula, which looks looks to be somewhat similar to their um, powder highlights, then I would be really excited. The swatches do look a little frosty though, the swatches that I've seen online. So really this is on the cart because I feel like I just gotta know. I have to know and I want to be able to put this kind of blush on my cheeks in natural light, zoom you guys right up close onto my face and show you what it actually looks like. That is what I'm very passionate about on my channel, clearly. So the shade Cheer is what is in my cart. That's a Selena's, they're calling it Selena's custom shade. So we'll, we'll just have to see um, if I end up picking that up. Also in here, the Sace Lip Tint Radiant All Over Concealer with Niacinamide. So, Say actually has a concealer that I absolutely love, which is the Hydra Beam. It's way more sheer coverage, but it's still very beautiful. Um, it's light reflecting, does not exaggerate hollowness under my eyes. In general, I have always been a big fan of the Hydra Beam, but again, it is lighter coverage. This seems to be a higher coverage product for Say. Say typically doesn't do products with a ton of coverage, but I'm interested in seeing how they perform in that realm. And it's getting very, very good reviews. I have not seen a bad thing about it. So I think uh, that just means that I need to try it. Yes, I think that's what we're getting from this video. It's just like, I, I gotta try it. Also, I have in here the mini cloud set from Kosas because this seems so ideal to have in a summer makeup bag for like touch-ups. And I will say, if there's one time to pick up minis, it would be during the Sephora savings event because you get a discount. Like it kind of evens out the price jump or like the price, I don't know, what is it called? You, you know when like a brand, what am, what am I saying? The inflation or whatever in mini products kind of cancel each other out during the savings event. I also have in here another Sephora favorite set. It is the deluxe best-selling mini perfume sampler set. So there's Juliet Has a Gun in here, which is a very classic fragrance. It's definitely like your skin, but better. Missing Person from Fleur, which is a holy grail. I have loved it since the first time I smelt it. I have like the body wash, I have the body oil, I have the full-size fragrance, one of my favorites. There's also Burberry Goddess by Rosie Jane, which is their Lila Lou fragrance. The Carolina Herrera Good Girl fragrance, which I know a lot of people love that one. Gucci Bloom, which I have smelled and is actually a very, very beautiful floral fragrance. There's Nest uh, Leche Rose. This is one that I'm thinking about because it's a good way of, again, getting to try out a bunch of fragrances. There's definitely a decent amount of product to these and they'd be beautiful for like a bag. And by the way, these are minis. These aren't like little samples that you get. But I'll just say this, if you're running low on any of these and you already know that you like it and want to repurchase, you might as well do it with this. So even if you're not using this to try out new fragrances, if you're using it to restock, this is like kind of ideal for you. And that's what I did with my missing person. When I ran out of the travel size, I bought one of these Sephora favorites and then um, got the full size of the missing person. From Fleur. So it, it was a good, I, I felt proud of myself. Another item I'd like to pick up is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Melting Bronzer and Sculpting Stick. The reason I want to try this is I'm looking for a really beautiful bronzing stick for the summer. I want something that blends really beautifully and in general just looks nice on the skin. 
not choppy, stays in place really beautifully. So yeah, I do have that in my cart to potentially try out for more cream bronzers for you guys. Surprised honestly that uh, Too Faced hasn't come out with, you know, this sooner, if I'm being honest. I also have the Shiseido Revita Essence Foundation in my cart, and that's one that I already absolutely love and have in my collection. It's honestly probably kicking around here somewhere, but I would like that in um, my, like a summer shade, I think. Because that is such a thin texture and it lasts really prettily on the skin and it does have a little bit more of this kind of skincare feel. It's not overly thick or heavy. I see that being really pretty for the summer. I do have that in my cart. We'll see uh, what I end up doing with that. I also have the Pat McGrath Lipstick in Flesh number three. I got like this sample. I had this sample for the Matte Trans Lipsticks and I've been using this shade, like this little sample shade. And I just, I really, really like it. So I'm thinking about finally pulling the trigger and picking up one of the Pat McGrath lipsticks because I've never used them. So we'll say that I've been taking, like when I put it on, I didn't do that today, but I'll do it now. Um, I've been taking my finger and like tapping it on my lips and then, so again, I'll take like a little bit and then I'll kind of just like also do this and it like consistently looks really pretty. So I don't know. We'll just have to see. I think that, um, this could finally be my time to try out the Pat McGrath lipsticks especially because I'll give you guys an update. The um, signature, like the matte lips from Merit, I don't know if it's just as of recent, because I'll be honest, like my lips have been particularly dry recently, but they, they've been looking drier than usual, especially with this on, which was not really happening for me before. And it's kind of a bummer, like I'm noticing as I continue to wear them, like in the corners of my lips, I'll notice it, which that's not a good look. I don't like that. So, so yeah, now I feel like what if the Pat McGrath is a better option? I don't know. I could just like wait it out as well. Like I could just do that. But anyway, that is something that I'm thinking about. I'm also potentially thinking about picking up another one of these lip glazes from House Labs because they are so beautiful. They're so, so good. I love the shade Persimmon and that is a shade that I highly recommend and already love, but I feel like this formula is good enough that I could actually justify picking up another one. I will say if I didn't already have almost every single shade of the Hourglass Volumizing Lip Stick Glosses, I'd be picking up another one, but they, like I already have all of them. That's like, you know, my holy girl lip product. But I do wanna see if they have a set. It doesn't look like they have a set, but if I can find one, um, I'll leave it down below because usually the sets are a good deal. So yeah, those are all of the items that are currently in my Sephora cart. This is clearly a large cart. I don't recommend anyone spending this much money on makeup. Just keep in mind that like these are products that I'm trying for you guys for my channel. And also there's a chance that items leave the cart and new items come in. So yeah, that's just kind of the name of the game. But I'll leave everything I talked about down below. I'll also leave all the products that are on my face down below for you guys. But overall, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one.